Hello everyone! Thanks for tuning in. I'm Emily, the home bookkeeper, and on this channel I help business owners and fellow freelance bookkeepers navigate the ever-changing QuickBooks Online, while also sharing insightful videos on all things business ownership and finance. As always, this is a sample company provided by QuickBooks for educational purposes only. In today's video, we are explaining a subscriber request. I love when viewers submit requests like this because this is what my channel is really all about. I want to help you manage your business's financials until you grow so big that you have to outsource. Until then, I hope these videos are really helpful. Don't ever be nervous or scared to comment below. So like the viewer mentions, they are needing to know how to record the sale of a fixed asset in QuickBooks Online. So since the asset has been sold, I am assuming it is already recorded in the system. If not, or for anyone else watching this video, let me know in the comments below um, if you need a video on how to record an asset or set up an asset in your chart of accounts. I will get that up if that is something you guys need more insight on. So first you'll want to go up to the new button on the top left and under the other column, click journal entry. For example's sake, let's say you have a company vehicle you sold and you want to get a new one. You bought the vehicle for $15,172. And you are today selling it for $14,700, which means you have a depreciation of $472. So once inside the journal entry screen, you'll want to check or change the date and title your entry. Moving to the line items, you'll want to select the bank account in which you want to reflect the sale. This will be the bank account you deposit the sale check into. Under the deposit tab, enter the sale price, which in this example is $14,700. On the next line, you'll want to record the depreciation of the asset, which for this example we mentioned is $472. And finally, on the third line, you'll want to credit the asset account, $15,172. Now just hit save and close and you're finished. You have inside QuickBooks recorded the sale of your asset. Now the next steps from here is you would want to make a bank deposit I believe I have a video of how to record a bank deposit in QuickBooks Online. And then once you deposit your check into the bank account, then you will want to go through the bank feed, match the bank feed deposit to the bank deposit that you uh, recorded in QuickBooks Online, and you will be fully done. Let me know if you have any questions. For more business resources, my online self-paced home bookkeeper masterclass, business supplies, gadgets, must-haves, and more, make sure to check out edjconsultinggroup.com backslash resources, linked in the description box below. And of course, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and turn on those bell notifications so you'll never miss an upload. It really helps to grow the channel. And of course, like I've mentioned, if you have any video or tutorial requests, make sure to leave them in the comments below. And for even more behind the scenes content of life as a home bookkeeper, feel free to follow me on Instagram at Emma Dawn and connect with me on LinkedIn. And if you need more assistance, personal financial coaching, or bookkeeping and payroll management, feel free to email or visit edjconsultinggroup.com. My firm is fully inclusive and ready to help you along wherever you may be in your entrepreneurship or personal wealth building journey.